Mobile World Congress is a chance for the major phone manufacturers, with the exception of Apple, to show off new smartphones and tablets. 2013 wasn't the most inspiring year, but here's a look at the best products. Made from metal with a 1.2 megapixel camera and micro SD slot, the ASUS PhonePad looks like any other Android Jelly Bean tablet, but built in 3G means it can be used for making voice calls. Priced from £179, it's great value, and combining a tablet and phone means only paying for one data plan. With the Ascend P2, Huawei is taking on the Samsung Galaxy S3, Sony Xperia Z and HTC One, offering Android Jelly Bean, a 4.7 inch screen, and the world's fastest 4G at 150 megabits per second. But what separates the P2 from rivals is its price. At 399 euros, it's significantly cheaper, but does it offer enough to aid Huawei's plans to mobile domination? LG's MWC highlight was the LG Optimus G Pro, a large phablet-style device with a 5.5-inch Full HD screen, quad-core Qualcomm processor and 13-megapixel camera. Running Android Jelly Bean overlay with LG's Optimus UI, it features an LED surround that changes colour with alerts. With a slim, durable unibody available in black, white, cyan, magenta and yellow, the Lumia 720 is a mid-range addition to Nokia's Windows phone lineup. It has a 4.3-inch clear back touchscreen which works with gloves and 6.7 megapixel camera with bright f1.9 car size lens. A long battery life and Nokia Hear Maps round off the most stylish phone from MWC. The Nokia 105 is a very different proposition to its Lumia cousin. Available in cyan and black, it's a feature phone with a dust and splash proof keyboard, torch and FM radio. Alas, there's no camera or internet access but there is a 35 day battery and at around 15 euros, this is an affordable backup phone. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 runs Android Jelly Bean overlaid with Samsung's Touch With Nature UX user interface. It includes a five megapixel camera and quad core processor. But what differentiates it from rivals like the iPad mini is its S Pen for drawing, annotating, navigating and call capabilities. If you really want to make a call using an eight inch tablet. Built as the slimmest, lightest tablet in the world, as the Xperia Tablet Z is just 6.9mm deep, offers dust and water resistance, the X-Packs, a quad-core processor, 8MP camera, NFC and 4G. Running Android Jelly Bean, does this stunning design offer enough to capture a slice of the tablet market? The ZTE Open is an entry-level smartphone running the new Mozilla Firefox OS, based on HTML5 and offering a similar user experience to Android. Hardware specifications are quite low. It has a 3.5 inch screen and 800 megahertz processor. But this is a phone primarily for developing markets.